Detroit's very own documentary-focused Freep Film Festival hitting a big milestone yet this year. It is the 10th annual festival, and they're inviting everyone on this side of the state to come celebrate. Yeah, let's all join them. The five-day festival is going to feature both local and globally recognized documentaries. Joining us this morning via Zoom with a sneak peek of the event, artistic director, we've got Kathy on the line. Hey, Kathy, how are you? Hi, good morning. Good morning to you. Well, 10 years. What does that mean for the festival and really for Detroit? Oh, it's been a marvelous 10 years. We've been able to showcase some of the greatest documentaries, you know, Oscar winners and local documentaries and really had great conversations and brought filmmakers from all over the world in to really celebrate that art form. So talk to us about this year's festival. Um, what are some of the films that people can expect to see? Oh, we've got a mix of everything. We've got films about art. We've got films about history. We've got films about Michigan outdoors. Big central theme of Free Film Festival is films that we think are relevant and resonate here with Michigan audiences. And so there's a lot of films that are Michigan filmmakers or Michigan focused. Um, and, and then we also have some special things that we think are universal to everybody. Um, Lawrence Fishburne of The Matrix and Boys in the Hood is joining us this year. He's attached to three separate film projects. One, he's featured in a film called Is That Black Enough For You, which is by actually a Highland Park native named Elvis Mitchell. Uh, and that is about um, kind of the golden era of black cinema in the 70s. And Lawrence is featured in it. He's going to join us for a conversation after the film. He's also an executive producer on a film called The Cave of Adelon, which is about a, transform a transformative training academy uh, in Detroit that takes young boys um, and mentors them spiritually, physically, and emotionally. So he'd be on the panel for that. And then we've got a wonderful conversation happening uh, on Saturday evening with Lawrence Fishburne and Elvis Mitchell. Elvis is the, the radio host of a nationally syndicated show out of KCRW in, in LA. It's called The Treatment, where he has influential members of art, entertainment, fashion, and sports um, and has host conversations. And so Lawrence is going to be there for that, among some of the other highlights that are happening during the festival. It starts on Wednesday and it goes through Sunday. Wow, that is jam-packed. I, I know that uh, a lot of documentary filmmakers will use this festival as an opportunity to premiere their work. And I know the, the, you've got a debut, right? Uh, Cold Water, is that right? Yes, Michigan premiere of Coldwater Kitchen, which is actually uh, set in Lakeland, Michigan, um, uh, or in Coldwater, Michigan. There's a, um, a training program, a food training program at that facility that trains incarcerated men for life outside of prison in food service. And so that's having its Michigan premiere, uh, and we're screening that on Wednesday night. And then because of the high demand for that, we're screening that again on Friday. And I know it's a long drive for, for Grand Rapids folks to come all the way to Michigan. I worked as a photographer at the Grand Rapids Press, and my family is here in Metro Detroit, and so I did that drive a lot. And one of the cool things is that we have a lot of the films screening virtually. So if they don't want to make the trip, you can sign on and buy a virtual pass or buy an individual ticket to watch those marvelous documentaries um, for comfort of their own home. But we would encourage you that Detroit's got a lot to offer, you know, great restaurants, uh, you know, great art museum. A lot of our films are screening at the Detroit Film Theater at the DIA. So come on, it's going to be a beautiful weekend. Drive across the state. Come see Lawrence Fishburne and some of these other amazing documentaries that we're screening over the whole weekend. Love that. Yeah, great, great excuse to make a trip to the D for sure. So if people want more information, they want to get some tickets to some of these screenings in person or virtually, what do they need to do? Uh, freefilmfestival.com. So you can buy everything through there virtually and and, and um, for in person. Um, we've got film packs. They're five packs, so a little cheaper than buying individual if you plan on doing multiple films. We're at, again, we're all in the city center, kind of cultural center, so people can hop from one venue to the next, um, park once, and just kind of enjoy the whole downtown, midtown atmosphere. I love it. That's a, make a little uh, weekend of it, right? Yeah. And you don't even have to wait till the weekend, though, because this is all kicking off Wednesday, as you said. Thank you so much for the time this morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. April 26th through the 30th, you got the 10th, is what a milestone, the 10th anniversary yeah. of the Freep Film Festival. There's some of the locations you can see the, the uh, films at, or you, as you heard, you can watch them virtually. More information at freepfilmfestival.com. We'll be right back with today's Medical Moment, sponsored by Corwell Health.